Hello YouTube, hello Twitch, it's some more Peglin action. Uh, we'll keep doing some Crucible. I think we were doing some Baladin runs last time. Battle start with five extra gold. This I think is just full stop bad. Unless you can get like insane ball work. You know what? I feel like I've been guilty recently, or at least I felt like I take the same relics every single time. Let's try and make Repostal Service work. I think it's just flat out bad. It requires you to be hit. But I guess the name of the game is for... And also, is it a melee attack? No, it's just attacked. It requires you to build a ton of bulwark before an enemy gets close to you. So we're going to be looking for any relic that gives us a ton of bulwark. All right, the crit is down there. I want to make sure I hit one of these bombs on the side, but at the same time, I would like some extra gold, please. Okay, we got it. We got the gold as well. I'm as happy as Larry. Whoever Larry is, I'm as happy as he is. And okay, this guy's dead as well. Kind of in gold farming territory, maybe? Oh, God, I got this bomb. Would have preferred the gold, to be honest with you. Would have preferred the gold. All right. Perfect shot for me. I know my angles. They call me Protractor Pete for all the angles I know. I know Acute. I know Obtuse. Reflex. As far as I'm concerned, they're the only angles. Now, I'm sure if you get to like a higher level of mathematics, there are like more words for like certain angles. Obviously, maybe these are like big family categories, but you might be able to like define something else. Now that I think about it, how could there be anything other than those ones? I guess if you get into three dimensional angles, things get a little bit more complicated because rather than just having, you know, acute, uh, obtuse with like the inside and then reflex being the outside of that. Uh, what if you twist it instead? All right, we just said we want to get Bulwark, so Protect Orb, the best way to get Bulwark. There is an early shop. I still rate my decision there. There is a late shop too. I think, I think, I think. It's kind of a weird layout. I think I'll go right. Thank you. And I'll go for the late shop. If you have Bulwark remaining after the battle, you heal. More relic choices or the bad relic? I'm actually going to try and get more relic choices. I don't think the nightcap is that useful, even though it synergizes with Bulwark. If I'm gaining enough Bulwark to get this to proc, I don't ever want my health to get reduced, so I don't need healing, right? Right. I think that's logical. The question then comes is, do I fight the Elite or not? The Elite would be a bit spicy. So I think I'm just going to take the raw chest. Embrace the lightning. Uh, no. Yeah, no. Although it does put me in a random direction, and if I go left... Actually, if I go left, it's fine. I can still get to the chest. Well, here's what you could have won. I definitely would have wanted to remove an orb. I definitely would have taken ambidextrous if I had the the finances. Uh, in the end, though, we still get to the chest. Whenever you lose your last ball while gain one balance. Okay, peace of mind. I don't recognize it. It's actually anti-synergistic with what I want to do, but it could. It could actually matter. There might become a point where we can't actually get enough armor to weather all the attacks and kill all the enemies. Uh, so we'll be thankful for getting balance because balance gives you plus plus, right? You get both the muscle circle and the spinets all in one tasty package. Uh, I'm going to keep going left. I should probably do a battle though to make sure I have enough money. But I'm kind of hoping that one of these turns into a... An elite fight.
Well, it's not going to. Uh, mole fight, if you get a bramble, is actually slightly anti-synergistic because if you lock him in front of you, he just hits you for like 11 every single turn. Do I want an egg? Honestly, I don't want an egg. I know we took one all the way through to the end of the game last time. We've already done that. That meme has been printed. Alright, I will take Nightcap, I suppose. If the game insists. Uh, if we get 30 gold, I'll go to the shop. If not, I'll take another fight. Alright. Slightly early on the bomb, but... It's fine. <laughs> Got into zero bulwark. Uh, by the way, I don't think this build is anywhere near ready. How did I do that? I'm basically going to be trying to kill the Mormon with the Sphere. Kind of my grand plan right now. Okay, everyone dead. More Bulwark. Alright, I won't have enough money for the shop. So we will just go right. That surely gets in, right? Yeah. Ah, the bat fight. Release the bombs. Don't hit the refresh. Activate bombs. Can I get this bomb? No. I'm just going to hit this peg and make sure that I can at least hit it next turn. It's fine. We're going to get hit. But we didn't because the armor ate it. And actually, he took like two damage because of it. Huge, but the build is working. I successfully did two damage. All right, now we need to clear up the refresh. Uh, so we probably need to get both these pegs out of the way, sadly. I nearly killed him. In fact, I will kill him. No, I won't kill him. Unless I hit enough. Pardon me. If I hit enough pegs, I can. Oh my god, I got the refresh. And I got the plus three bulwark. He dies to it. Repostal service. It works. We got a kill with it. The first kill I think ever with it. And I don't mean from me. I just mean in general. Alright, the bats had enough of this shenanigans. We might actually get the health of the nightcap here. Oh, you don't get the armor first? That's a little bit cheap. That seems a little bit cheap to me. Okay, we need to do some upgrading. You go through two enemies. I would like you to go through three enemies so that I can hit them all in every single position. Then, give me money. And we'll go take the right path. And it turned out to be another fight. Alright, we went off script there. You're meant to be... Reminder, you're meant to be hitting the... The path towards the bombs. That's a pretty good opening, though. I will concede. Not the refresh, thank you. Alright, this bat, I'd like them to be deceased. Now I'll clear a path through the refresh or try and hit the refresh. Oh, actually, you know what? I could possibly get to this bomb as well. Or not. Okay. Hit bomb. Activate bomb. Try and gain some armor. It'd be very nice if you gained a little bit of armor. Okay. Oh, God. It would be nice to actually get the kill as well. Give me the refresh. 16. 12. 
Hey, he's dead. Convert every nine pegs hit into red bombs. Hmm. No special effect. Zap, zap. And I take damage, which I actively don't want to do. Give me another upgrade, please. Turn this into every eight pegs hit. And I want to save my money. We're going to elites regardless, though. I'll try and farm a bit of extra coin. Minotaur fight, hey. Well. I definitely think we should fire the sphere for damage. Is what I did. Definitely want the refresh. And now we can eat a prey. We almost always take plus 22 on this fight. The refresh, by the way, horrible spot. Maybe, though, the curve is angling towards it? No! <laughs> okay, we're going to get rolled. We're actually dead, I think. It could not be a worse spot, I think. Like, I'll die before I clear a path to it. I kind of need to bounce into it and pray. But it's just, it's impossible. Yeah, doesn't even hit it. Well, we have enough time for another run. <laughs> we have enough time for another run. And this is where the Baladin is the worst character. It just takes too long to get his build off the ground. Uh, bombs are in one hit. You do extra damage to enemies while reloading for the number of reloads. And every gold collected during navigation is worth four. Give me some bad cheese, please. And I'll try and thin the sack out this time. There isn't an early shop. But I obviously want to remove stuff as soon as I can. I should also definitely be discarding it almost every opportunity. And I didn't fo follow the flow chart, which was free bombs, hit bombs. My fault. Okay, this, this fight could have gone really sour, so I'll take that. Left and right are pretty similar here, so I'll just make sure I hit some gold along the way. The refresh orb is never bad. Simply put, never bad. The ore burst, though, is a nice synergy with the Baradroix. So, I think I'm actually going to try and go center. Center right. They're both good options. I will add this to the sack, even though I just said I want a thin sack. Then we want to go left. And the Pachinko Gods are great. Let's go left. Near the game of this map, what's the flow chart? Hit the bombs on the outsides, hit the bomb in the middle. Kill the plants, and then you're kind of golden. It's basically free after this point. Famous last words. Right, give me the crit. There's another bomb. It's all of you getting chipped down by 50. Two dead. And yeah, now we, we kind of just gold farm. Other thing I should probably do is open up the front bomb just in case. So we have 50 damage prepared. I'll take it. Perfect. 
great battle. Saying no again to adding orbs just this second. Try and get my money into the shop. I'm going to make it a little bit of a risky play. I didn't think it was that risky. I was pretty certain it was going to cup into the left. Uh, whenever the board is refreshed, deal damage equal to the number of pegs restored. Very good relic. Very good with the refresh orb as well. So That is what you're called, by the way, isn't it? There's like two orbs that have a very similar purpose. You're the refresh circle. You're not the refresh orb. Apologies uh, for misnaming you. All right, this time I will release the bombs. And instantly I'm just going to send it. Huge just chip damage. And in fact, I think we're already in gold farm territory. Discard so the bad cheese does some extra damage. Okay, you're probably all dead, right? I didn't see what the, the stone was on. No, only 10. Oh, then you died to the reload. Never mind. Electro Magnet probably has a really good synergy with the, the refiller buster. But again, I think at this moment in time, the most important thing for me is to firstly upgrade this. Actually, no, it's not. I think the shop is the most important. So don't upgrade just yet. I can't miss the shop. Get some money. I'll take the two gold. Would have preferred five, but we're going to get the five now, so I will not complain. Great opening. Well done, me. We might take a little bit of damage here. I kind of beans up the first shot. And then I was like, do I use the refresh here? And I was like, sure, why not? I guess the reason why not is you really just want to free the bombs. But I, I do want a bit of money as well. So I guess we'll just... We'll take a little bit of chip damage. And by a little bit, we actually took quite a lot of chip damage. For an extra two gold. Not a great deal, it turns out. So we definitely want the shop. Okay. I tried to deflect it into the gold to the left for one additional gold. I missed. It's fine. Prevent the first time you'll take lethal damage. Eh. Definitely remove an orb. Get rid of the pebbles. Make the pebbles better. I'm not interested. I think getting additional crits on the board, we could work with that. Although, I say that. No, I don't have the Muscle Circle Orb anymore. It's a different run. Okay, this can work. And I'm going to go right, because I'm going to try and fight the double elites. Pretty good. It's still fairly early. I am missing 23 health, so you know what? 10 to the leaves. Take me back to full health, just in time for an elite fight. That's a pretty good deal. I feel like I normally take plus 75 max health. Uh, 75. I definitely would take plus 75, but I normally take plus 7 max health. Anyway, this guy I'm kind of hoping that we roll a little bit. There's a lot of crits on the board. We should fairly consistently be doing like 100 damage to this guy. Power slide and hit all six pegs. Huge. And now he's just getting refillable continuously. Did only do 50, but... The crit, fortunately for me, has gone into a nice spot, so we're going to do another 100. He might get his customary 22 damage off. He's going to get his customary 22 damage off. Unless... Okay, he's he's got the 22. Fair enough.
I'm gonna filibust him. Kill him. That'll do. I'm gonna try and save my money. I'm, I'm trying to be as super greedy as possible right now. You may have noticed. Deal two times damage when your health is below 25%. I mean, that might get there fairly soon. Reloads grant balance. This is, this is what I want. I want the thinnest sack humanly imaginable. And also, like, at least two gold to be able to afford to remove another orb. We've got that. Task achieved. Did miss the crits there. But we at least hit double bomb. Now we fill the boards with refreshes, refill the bust them. Wow, we did, we did really good damage there. So much so, in fact, that I'm like, do we just farm a bit of gold pegs here? Uh, I think the answer is yes, by the way. Let's try and get the ones over here. Nice. Save your money again. Every shot is a crit when fired below 50% health. When applying positive status effects to yourself, increase the amount applied by one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the build. The Mask of Joy is going to bring me... Legitimately so much joy. Because every time I get balanced down on every reload, I'll get two balances. It's literally doubled my scaling. We remove an orb. I would have bought the ambidextionary instead if it was offered. Uh, and legitimately, this might be the sack. I might just run a sphere plus a refresh orb. Uh, the only one downside right now is I didn't upgrade the sphere. Uh, but that's pretty minor. And it's only nice to upgrade the sphere because eventually it's going to summon a plant and I would like it to go through the plants. The attack this is. So again, just discard as often as you can, I think is the name of the game here. This is now a 6-8. I think you discard it. Get refiller busted, get hit. More refiller busting. I've got it perfectly timed that he just hits me every single round, which is... Not the, the winner's strat. But I think we're going to get him via refiller buster. Kill the plant. Hit the bomb, refiller buster him again. And again. And again. Yeah, we've got him. Die to cheese. Are moles lactose intolerant? I would not be surprised if they were. Okay. So, first things first, this has to get upgraded all the way. Because the next floor I need piercing. Every orb will fire a copy of itself in the opposite direction of your aim direction, but you can only aim in four. Bombs are replaced with red bombs. Orbs get plus zero plus four, but there's one less refresh. I mean, actually, we could make that work, but... All attacks have plus two plus two, but you have minus one orb discards. You know what, for the people... Give me constricting chains. And let me show you how bad this relic is. The run itself is very, very boring. I'm trying to put two orbs in my sack. We might as well spice things up a little bit. All right, so these are the directions I can aim in. Good, right? But hey, I get to fire two orbs. Huge, right? Right? That, that's good value. Okay, I need to fire this off. Hey, what happens when the refreshes, you know, all go on the left side with constricting chains? Answer, basically this. Okay, well, like, I, I have to do this. All right, I did 20 damage.
All right, let me fire this off so I can actually play the game. Uh, by the way, this is basically ruined my run. <laughs> Don't know why I took it. It was kind of to prove a point. As I said at the the episode, we take the same things every single time. Why? Uh, this is the answer why. Oh, by the way, I can still only aim in four directions. Drawing navigation. Oh, I don't have enough to remove something. Whoops. Well, you know what, Super Boots? You're probably not going to get much better than you are right now, as I'm going to need a heal. Right, for this second, I don't need the refresh. Fire the pebbles. Good opening. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, no, but, okay, yeah, sure. I do need to remember he does fire the other one backwards from it, so I should be looking at both lines. Not that it matters too much. A plus 16 damage, very nice. I need to fight this to refresh the board, otherwise I'm in trouble. And now we go for Pierce. Like, why is this a boss relic? Why is this not a curse? Like, it just actively ruins your run. Okay, we will take a little upgrade, I think. Let's get this upgraded so that we have more refreshing. I am going to try and go to the shop. Keyword, try. All right, we're not. I would have liked that treasure chest. Hey-ho. Oh, by the way, we're fighting an elite, I noticed. Nope. And... I think we discard as quickly as possible to get the balance so that I do more damage on the next sphere. Now when I discard that as well, I get a refresh, which is very nice. All right, we need good order here. That's not the winner's order. It's not terrible, but... Well, that's pretty terrible though. I guess fire down and pray. There you go. Huge refresh. Get him with the refiller buster. Just fire it straight down again. Right, now I'll take a heal. I think I've deserved a heal. I've earned one. And I'm praying no Mirror Knight. If it's Mirror Knight, we're probably dead. Not Mirror Knight. Excellent start. Nice crit as well, by the way. Holy moly, killing the White Knight. And in fact, killing all of them early. Very good. And then we get our first balance. I basically sack the one orb that's good with the balance. So that I get more balance in the future. Because this guy's not going to hit me. The front guy, that is. It's just this guy I need to worry about. Actually, the back guy also. I think on the next cycle, I will fight the sphere off. Regardless of the position. Just to kill the white knight. And by knight, I mean mage. Uh, we may not have to, though. Nope, he's dead. Okay, actually, Loki this build might be fine. He 
heal me, upgrade me, get this to level 3. Whenever a shield is destroyed, gain 4 bulwark. No. Enemy damage resistance become weaknesses. Yes. I know I'm not afraid of Mirror Knight anymore. Did you hear that, Mirror Knight? I'm not afraid anymore. I am a little bit afraid of not going in the direction I want to, because I want to go right, but I don't really have any control over that. Yeah, I thought that was almost guaranteed to go left. Oh, well. Crits refresh the board. Really good. Guaranteed chest of three question marks. Give me guaranteed quest. That uh, quest? Chest. <laughs> Fine. Oh, I'm never going to open this, am I? <laughs> with four directions. I can't open it with 360 degrees of directions. Should have waited for the crit. That was impatience. Never punished. Okay, again, White Mage would be nice to kill, but it's going to require the Sphere to be in a good spot. Also, the Sphere, I don't think, hits him right now. Oh, no, it will. It pierces three, right? Ah, oh, whatever. It's in the wrong slot anyway. Go for one of these. And you're dead. Who am I fighting? It's the wall. Increase max health by four, then. My health doesn't matter. Simply irrelevant. It's a figment of the wall's imagination, my health. All that matters is that I exist, or don't exist. In theory, this wall fight shouldn't be too bad for me as well. Anytime you have scaling versus the wall, you're normally in with a good shout of beating him. Uh, and I do have scaling. So, every single time you have a chance to, discard an orb. Refillabus is also pretty good in this fight. Like, so many pegs, it's so dense. It's so dense. Now, the question is, is my scaling fast enough for this guy? I think it is, just off my first observations. But it could definitely go wrong, like, missing the refresh there, pretty bad. I still think I scale. I could also have done with, like, one really good damaging orb. I mean, the, the seven eights now, right? All of the orbs are pretty good. But just one to get going a little bit faster than the rest. Still, doing, like, close to a thousand per shot. Surely good enough. Seventy-eight gold. Seventy-eight gold. Increasing my max health kind of feels like a fool's errand right now. I really need to shop. I need to remove one more pebble and add one more good orb. What does this do? <laughs> what does multi-ball do? It's a relic. A relic. An orb I also very rarely take. It could be funny though. The problem with taking this right now is I have. To, I would really ideally like to remove one before I take one. Because otherwise it's going to take me one additional turn to cycle. So I think I'm going to say no to it. All orbs get plus two zero. But the board has one less crit. Attack still two times damage. But you deal three damage for every 25 pegs activated. Or pegs are durable. Let's be honest with you. I can't aim anyway. So they might as well be durable. Why not? Why not make them durable? Maybe they'll do more damage this way. All 
All right, this is already a bad omen of a fight. The, the rainbow slime is here, but I'm not going to worry about rainbow slime for now. Also, I like this fight says you aim in four directions, but realistically, you aim in two directions because the balls go in opposite directions, right? I need to scale faster. The gerbil's also really kind of ruining me in this fight. Okay, this has kind of been a run of... This is why I don't take these relics. Smile. Because if you do, this is what happens. Okay, we have to fire this. I live. Okay, we'll take a heal. And you know what? increase our max health as well. Oh, I forgot about the super boots, though. Super boots plus durable pegs is actually a pretty nice synergy. Uh, his resistance becomes a weakness, which doesn't matter. Because I'm not shooting that type of orb. <laughs> it hurts so much. Okay, we could do it doing 430 damage here. We've done it. We're out. All right, let's let's do another little heal. I think there's a shop fairly far away still. Where is it exactly? It's on the left. Scumbag. Okay, we're recovering. I still think the right place to get balance as soon as possible. Even in a fight like this where Pierce obviously looks like it's going to be good. I mean, let's be real. We're probably going to kill most of the enemies with bombs anyway. Refresh me. I tell you what would go really hard right now for me for like survivability. The cookie. The cookie would be pretty good. Also, this sphere, pretty good. Right, so everyone on the board is dead. I would like to hit no more red bombs if you can. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. Again, I can't really add stuff right now. I can just keep taking the healing. Three! How? Okay, well, this is a problem fight. I know you're saying use the sphere. I, I really think I can't right now. Part of the reason why this is a problem fight is durable pegs is going to ruin me. Uh, yeah, I think this is going to be the end of our tale. Because this is literally the only shot I can make. And it does like 90 damage. Okay, I have to fire it. Can't wait anymore. Goodbye, cruel world. Goodbye, cruel world. Uh, by the way, this was a boss reward I took. <laughs> anyway, YouTube, that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, why not leave a like and subscribe? Everyone helps me out. I'll see you again next time. Bye.